Shih Tzu versus Yorkie. Shih Tzu and Yorkshire Terriers are two of the most popular small dog breeds out there, and choosing between them can be tough. While every dog is unique, each breed will definitely have a baseline of traits you need to be aware of. Their energy levels, size, temperament, how much grooming they may require. <laughs> well, you get the idea. With that in mind, in today's video, we will compare Shih Tzu and Yorkshire and find out which breed is better for you. Size. Both breeds are toy-sized dogs. However, Shih Tzus are slightly bigger, standing 9 to 12 inches tall with an average weight of 9 to 12 pounds, whereas Yorkies stand 8 to 9 inches tall and weigh about 7 to 10 pounds. Grooming requirements. Both Shih Tzus and Yorkies have hair rather than fur. And while this means less shedding, it also means that both of them will need a decent amount of grooming. Both of them need daily brushing to avoid tangles and knots. You will need to bathe them once every two weeks and take them for professional grooming every once in a while. While both breeds have exceptionally manageable and soft hairs, Yorkies have silkier strands. So a little extra maintenance at home, along with regular visits to the groomer, is definitely a must. Vocalization. When it comes to vocalization, both breeds certainly bark, but thankfully not as much as other toy dog breeds. Yorkies are very sensitive about changes in their environment and can be vocal about it. On the other hand, Shih Tzus don't always assume the worst when they see a new person. Though with new animals, you will probably get some barking. Keep in mind that training either breed to learn the quiet command is still something you can do, but if both breeds were present in the same home and have not been trained to quiet on command, the Yorkie will definitely be the most vocal of the pair. Temperament. As far as temperament goes, both breeds are friendly and loving. Shih Tzus tend to be the more outgoing of the pair. They are also more accommodating with children that like to pick up dogs, whereas this can cause a Yorkie to bark or even nip if they are scared or uncomfortable. With people they know, Yorkies are more affectionate than Shih Tzus and will go out of their way to show how happy they are with them. Yorkies also have higher energy levels, bouncing around the house more, whereas Shih Tzus would rather find a comfy spot to sit nearby unless you are being playful with them. Training. Both breeds are known for their stubborn nature. However, I have trained both, and I find Shih Tzus slightly more responsive to training than Yorkies. Yorkies have a bit of a stubborn streak, and their energy levels can make it hard to get 100% of their focus while training. With either breed, keep the training sessions short and use high-value treats. Exercise requirements. Adult Shih Tzus, as well as Yorkies, need about 30 to 45 minutes of exercise daily. This can be divided into two walks. That said, Yorkies are the bouncier breed, and you'll want to play with them at home a little more to help them release their excess energy. Shih Tzus like to play too, but while a Yorkie will demand it, a Shih Tzu is more easygoing about it and is often perfectly fine with sitting beside you while you both watch your favorite TV show. As you can see, both breeds have their own perks. Which breed matches your energy? Do let me know in the comments down below. And if it's a Shih Tzu, check out our channel. We have tons of Shih Tzu care videos. See ya!